Hello everyone, online personal trainer Gavin Townsend. Just got a question from somebody on Facebook in reference to their thyroid gland. This is their question. So, I had my thyroid gland removed four years ago and I've struggled to lose weight ever since. I've spoken to the doctors about my medication, but because I'm on a range, they are unwilling to amend it. I've looked online and I've read conflicting things. Have you got any tips on what to do or to avoid? So, let's discuss what is an underactive thyroid. Well, simply put, an underactive thyroid will basically create tiredness, weight gain and make you depressed. Um, some people manage to have an underactive thyroid and never uh, understand why their emotions are always as they are, they may never diagnose that they have an underactive thyroid. Um, unfortunately, underactive thyroids cannot be prevented. Uh, they are um, something which happens to many people. And again, some of the common symptoms is tiredness, weight gain, depression, uh, the likes of uh, muscle aches and, and whatever else. So my best tips to somebody who's really struggling with an underactive thyroid who has either had it has gone as far as having it removed or is on a level of medication to help with their hormone balances is try to do things which lift your mood so if you are suffering with um, mental issues as a result of having such a, uh, a thyroid issue then look at ways to lift your mood. Doing a, a walk in the morning I've found works really well for most people as it helps to allow you to start your day focused. Work out your day, work out what it is you want to do. Um, go for a fast walk before breakfast, that will again help with exercise, help with working on your fat stores but also help clear your head. Now because your hormones are all over the place with having an underactive thyroid or like I say in this instance having it removed look at doing regular exercise where possible to again keep your mood up uh, but also look at the likes of having good healthy food balanced to your macro needs so macronutrients being balanced between proteins fats and carbohydrates eat well every day and try and keep yourself full by staying full on healthy foods you'll be less likely to snack on foods which are less healthy and try to ensure that you get enough sleep as well because sleep and recovery is key for just bodily repairs really and um, to, to help with your mood and your, your general spirit so there's some tips there do a walk in the morning keep it in a fasted state before breakfast and try and lift your spirits up there. The other great tip was about eating consistently healthy food and keep yourself full so you're less likely to pick out on other stuff. And then the third tip was to look at your sleep. Make sure you get good sleep. So I hope that helps. I know I can't go into too much detail on this subject. I'm not the best expert on this particular field. Uh, it's just I've worked with a few people with thyroid issues over the past and they're some of the, the best tips I've managed to, to source and, and give them. So if you've got any questions, feel free to like me on Facebook, send me a message there, and feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.